All right, I'm gonna do a little uh, video here. I had a person leave me a comment, ask for a video. Let's see if I'm getting that in there, I think so. Anyway, they want to know how to adjust the uh, Volkswagen carburetor. So let me get situated here and uh, show you what we got. I've got a few tools and I have a few carburetors here off the car here so we can uh, take a look at the different kinds. And uh, this is what I have laying around the shop. I have uh, the 30 pick 3, or it's actually a 30 dash pick. It's a smaller one out of the side of 34. But uh, the basic adjustments, I think, are the same. Some of the problems are the same. So uh, this is your carburetor. And uh, a few things we'll start with is uh, this is your idle up solenoid. Gets a wire that goes to it from the coil on the positive side. It's a 12 volt. Comes on with a key. Uh, there should be a wire going to this and a wire going to your choke. The larger screw on the top is your idle speed, and the screw on the bottom will be your idle mixture. Uh, however, on the same carburetor, the first thing you want to start with if you're having trouble is you want to get an 8 millimeter wrench, and you want to take this jet out right here. This is your idle jet. You can clean both of them. Sometimes there's one coming in at an angle, and this one on the side is usually the idle jet but it doesn't hurt to blow both of them out. You just pull that jet out. You can see it's fairly small. You want to take and blow it with some compressed air. Make sure the jet's clear. This will cause it not to idle and it won't respond to any adjustments you make. So after we clean that jet, we're going to put that back in. We'll do that before we start the motor and get everything hot. Clean your idle jet out. Just remove it, blow it out, put it back in. If it's really plugged up, you can uh, start the car. You'll have to keep it running. A lot of times you can start it up and pull any trash that's in that circuit through with the jet out. If it's really got a plug in the passageway. Most of the times you can just take the jet out, blow it, put it back in the carburetor and you're good to go. This is a different style carburetor. This is the original German style. It has no idle speed adjustment. You can adjust that here and it's got just a single screw to do your uh, mixture with. The other adjustment on this little carburetor, this replacement Solex, it has an adjustment on the accelerator pump right here also. So you can loosen this up or tighten it, give it more or less squirt. You know, if you want more squirt, if you need more duration of squirt, or if it's got a bog off the line, sometimes you can adjust your accelerator pump a lot of times if you have a big bog in the motor it's from running unleaded regular fuel or having too small of a main jet uh, with the 10 percent alcohol in the gasoline it creates a little bit of a hole in the calories in the gas and uh, it takes twice as much alcohol as it does fuel if you're running an alcohol setup so when they introduce 10 percent uh, you need more main jet and the Volkswagen carburetor. A uh, day-to-day car that you drive every day that has an oxygen sensor is able to adjust for the alcohol. Where with the Volkswagen you have to manually go, manually go in and adjust the main jet. Okay, so we've gone over the basic adjustments. Uh, the idle speed is uh, basically, you know, whatever you like as far as your idle speed. As far as the uh, small adjustment screw, all I do is I adjust that until the motor runs good. Uh, there's no set adjustment for that, you know, like two and a half turns or three and a half turns. You basically gotta, you can start at about two and a half turns and then adjust that until the motor's happy. Let me go uh, turn the key on. I got a starter button hooked up. We'll come back and we'll uh, run through the carburetor adjustment with the motor running. Hopefully it's not in gear. Now we're good. Should idle for a while in the choke. 
and let the motor warm up before you adjust the carburetor. speed so you can see how that affects it. That's the large screw. You get the screwdriver right here. The more you screw it out the higher the idle will be. If you try to screw that too far out though it'll create a flat spot off idle so don't use this to correct an idle issue or a leaky idle uh, intake boot. You want to make sure that uh, you don't have any vacuum leaks and the motor's warmed up. We'll let it warm up another minute and then we'll adjust our uh, mixture screw. We'll start by turning the screw in and when you hear the motor decrease or start running rough you want to go back the other way. Adjust that screw too far out the top screw. 